You're not too thin though. Okay, okay. Ask me again. Huh? Ask me again. Yo, can you ask me again? And this is uh this is Ask Me Again. Ask me again. And this is A M A. Huh? Ask me again. Alright. Hey. You're watching. Before we start the video, um, just wanted to dedicate this video, this show, this whole entire series to my grandpa, who's like a dad to me. Um, he passed away and just wanted to dedicate this to him. Um, thank you to all the family and friends who have shown support. Thank you and shout out to everybody who's a part of this series. And thank you and shout out to anybody who wants to be a part of the series. And trust me, everybody can and will get a chance to. I love you, Baba Lucha, you know. Let's get it. All right, let's do this. <laughs> In my category, yo, what makes somebody a hoe is... She be fucking the whole squad. I don't know, to be honest. I mean, I do know, but see, this is the thing. I don't even think... I don't believe in that word hoe. Pretty much a nigga or a bitch that's going around fucking anybody in a city, they town, whatever it is. You be fucking with like bros and like the team and shit. If you be like sucking mad dick at like parties and shit, like I feel like that's that's some whole shit. Um, in my opinion, what makes somebody a hoe? They be kidding it with different people every day. They be rotating the schedule. A hoe is someone who is constantly, randomly having sex with a bunch of different people same time if you're dick hopping or pussy hopping feel me like again i don't i don't like to classify people as such but if i'm calling someone else it's just about the way they move they type behavior that's some whole behavior that's they just want to get up there by you know what i'm saying like you fuck a lot like 10 bodies in one hour type shit fuck it if you want to suck a dick suck a dick <laughs> you want to eat some ass eat some ass like we don't even so, dime otra vez, ask me again. So, have, do I think that, I, yes. Have I ever masturbated a hoe? Yes, I think I have, uh. I, I'm not gonna lie, we probably, we more than likely all have. Sometimes you don't know when a hoe is a hoe until have you done dating that hoe. Probably, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Man, I've been with a couple hoes, but they're hoes. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't date. I ain't been in a date, so, no. I am a hoe. <laughs> Yes, I have. I feel like, I feel like, to be honest, right now, I'm in a relationship with a hoe. Oh, yes. Okay, so I have messed with a hoe. I did date a hoe. And that's what turned me into a hoe? Second, no, I'm kidding. She had, she, she had the qualities of one. Um, am I calling her one? That's not the question. I mean, not intentionally, maybe. But, you know, like, maybe afterwards you find out, like, damn. He was a little mag daddy, like bad taste in men. So <laughs> all my men were hoes. <laughs> Alex, you know the answer. All the niggas was hoes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not gonna lie. I dated a hoe. I, I was a hoe. It happens like that. What you mean by size? It depends. I think if we're talking about food, size does matter. Cause if you're hungry, you want a lot of food. I like my girls to have like, you know, like a tight coochie. You know what I'm saying? It's, the, it's not the side of the boat. It's the motion in the ocean. <laughs> I guess, like, you might have your ocean and potion, but you got you to gotta bring something to the table. Does size matter? Yes, size, <laughs> size does matter. I mean, you don't got to be, like, big as shit because I know that's scary. Like, that shit hurts. But, like... I mean, if you're talking about fat and skinny, I kind of like them all. Just, you just can't be ugly, for real, for real. Your makeup got to be on flea. You can't really finesse. You can't work no little dick. You feel me? If it's like this, <laughs> bitch, you call me fucked up. If it's like this, bitch, what we working with? We ain't working with shit if it's like this. We ain't going nowhere. If you're talking weight, no. I say you always gotta have a big chick in your roster. You always gotta have more cushion for the pushing, you feel me? Truthfully, as a girl, it kind of does, but if you're really in love with someone, it does not matter. I feel like size does matter and it doesn't just because, feel me, I'm small, so I like big. The worst sex position. On the table. <laughs> reverse cowgirl. Only if the girl don't know how to reverse cowgirl. Like somebody hit me from the back. 
and like they grab your arms or they grab your neck like <laughs> and I can't fucking breathe like that is so uncomfortable you just got my neck all the way the fuck back here my arms is all the way back here like I'm sorry that's not comfortable for nobody but you so no I don't, I don't like that to me I'm gonna keep it a blunt and I'm gonna say missionary if you really ask me the worst personal sex position is when you, you, you like try to get a girl to ride it but ride it with her booty towards your face I'll be having difficulties by getting my penis to stay up in there so like you don't need you don't need to tell you maybe because i'm fat and i don't fucking work out or something say he grabs your legs right they all feel good for me Cuando tiene ese, ese totito. Bueno, todo está bien. <laughs> and he'll be like this i think they all great <laughs> even go to but like the worst if you don't know somebody the worst is on, is when they on top of you right off rip i watch it this portal right the dude is sitting but standing backwards and the chick is upside down with like her legs all the way back by her ears and he's like dipping right into her and that shit looked horrible i don't want no parts of that front seat car sex <laughs> The girl's on top. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't think there's there's such a thing as the worst sex position. You just gotta fuck the right person. Booyah, bitch. The best sex position. All right, I'm gonna go into details with this one. From the back. It depends. The best is from the back or, or on top. Doggy, because that's how you get them girls. And when a girl just bouncing on that time. It depends on the on the smooth on the smooth 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 smooth. Always doggy style. It just feels good for both. The fact that the booty and just knowing that that thing's shaking and vibrating. Girls don't like to admit it, but you know it feels good. I don't know. I would say riding. Like just don't draw, cause niggas be doing extra pumps and shit, and they be doing too much. Like please stop. <laughs> just let me let me go ahead. For me, it's face down. Yes, Cause at the same time, he could be playing with you. Know what I mean? You know what I mean? That shit will make a girl. Ride him, baby. If she know what she doing. She ride me all day. Doggy style in riding dick. Like the more you arch your back and ass up, the better. And I think riding is also the best sex position just because I take control and I do what I like and what I want and feel me. Doggy style, final answer. <laughs> this is a good life. I just wanna get high every day. I just wanna get fly every day.